Throughout 2020, I've been semi-teaching myself how to ride a unicycle. It started when I found a cool DIY unicycle kit online during winter break and decided to buy the parts. I thought it could be a fun and engaging experience that could become an interesting hobby in the long run. I wasn't interested in trying new things as a kid, and I was fairly scared of the world around me. But as I've grown older, I've driven myself to try new things and to make the best of life. This has culminated in me learning graphic design and animation, reading more books, taking an interest in science, and even making short films and trying my hand at music. When I was younger, I spent years learning how to ride a bicycle. Although I don't remember much from the experience, my dad recounted a memory of how I first learned how to ride. You were about three, four years old, and you were just riding your tricycle. tricycle. As you start growing up, we started to, you started riding bikes on uh, training wheels. And as you start growing up, we started to, you started riding bikes on uh, training wheels. I remember letting you now go, removing one of the safety wheels and then the other one. And one day, I was behind you holding the seat and just running behind you and I let go and soon enough you were riding the, the bike far and what I remember was you turned around and looked up and you realized I was not there so despite riding that far you turned around you screamed and fell big time that was really funny the rest was history. After that, you started riding all over the place, but you were not this daredevil type, so that was very impressive how much safety you took. After assembling it, I began to watch various YouTube videos about riding techniques and began my training. I tried using fences and walls to hold on for dear life, soon letting go when I thought I was good and able, only to fail shortly afterwards. The YouTube videos weren't enough to fully understand unicycling, and to combat this, I asked Jonathan from my college swim team for some help. Before the virus, he gave me some advice on my form and mental state while riding, which gave me some courage and muscle memory, establishing my first steps to riding. Well, I mean, mine started when uh, my older brother left a unicycle in the garage, and I was bored, so I decided to learn. Not a whole lot fancy with that. Um, yeah, and then once I learned, it was more of, can I get something cooler? It's probably somewhere between 12 and 14 when I started to learn. Honestly, I think there's not a lot people can do to help others to ride. I think the process of learning is trial and error. Because um, at most, I can say a couple things, but you won't know how to ride until you do it. The only time I've ever actually like fallen and hurt myself it was because I was doing something stupid that I could have predicted. Um, learning to ride, I never got injured. I think there were two times I didn't land on my feet, and even then, that didn't hurt badly. That I um, fell once trying to start off going as fast as I can, and then another time I tried to mount on a downhill. However, this activity wasn't exactly the easiest to transition into socially. As one could imagine, unicycling isn't exactly a common activity people today up and start trying. When people first saw me ride, there were conflicting opinions about my new activity. No, it's not even the first time I saw you on a unicycle. It's when I came and picked you up um, from school. I don't remember if it was Thanksgiving. Oh, it was Martin Luther King weekend. And you were like, oh wait, I gotta go get my unicycle. And I was like, he has freaking unicycle? You're lying. And we got to your room and the, no, no lie, there's a unicycle sitting in the corner. You go, watch this. And you get on it and you do a little circle around your room. So I was walking back from the bathroom and it was super, super late at night. I was about to go to sleep. And I was, I just walk out. I'm super tired. And then I just see a fucking kid riding around on a unicycle. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And then it happened multiple times where you would just be practicing your 
goddamn unicycling when I would try to go to sleep. And it was too loud, so I couldn't go to sleep. So then I would just come out in the hallway and watch you fucking fail at unicycling and crash into a wall. So basically, I walk in and I see this man, Dean, on his unicycle, and I was like, wow, he just took attention whore to a whole nother level. <laughs> like, wow, is this like the latest stunt in Dean trying to get the, what he calls the respect of other people? When I first saw unicycling, what was my first thought? Uh, where are the hoes at? I believe was my first thought. He's gonna get so many females. I thought if Dean was a homosexual, I'd kiss him now. Right on his lips. It's a very sexy uh, vehicle, mode of transportation. At first, I was a little, a little confused. You know, I was like, "Where'd you get a unicycle from?" But then, you know, as the semester went on, you know, I got intrigued. I was like, "He wants to learn how to ride a unicycle. It's pretty cool." And then, you know, you learn how to ride a unicycle. Uh, what the fuck? Because you were riding a unicycle inside of a building to our table to play D&D. So I had several questions about that. Um, I, re I wondered whether it was any faster than walking because of how much, how many times you fall off. Um, it's a it's a very deep thing to do. Something Dean would do. To be honest, that was my first thought. I was like, okay, that seems like something Dean would do. I was like, it's a little bit more crackhead, if I if I might say. It's a little more crackhead than Dean usually is, but it's it's in the like trajectory that I think you would follow. Like what? This is like I have no idea what I just saw. However, it makes sense that Dean would be the one to do it. I thought you were going to break your neck, honestly. I was like, he's not going to seriously do it. And then when you actually started doing it, I was like, eh, at least he started. I think you're going to break your neck trying to impress the one. What almost 20 year old man has a unicycle? Make it make sense to me. Clowns. Make it make sense. Yes. I, I thought we sent you to liberal arts college, not clown college. Like, what? I. Learning how to unicycle didn't come without its challenges. There were many times I fell off and even one attempt where I almost landed on my face. It was going to take a long time before I'd become a better rider. Through all this, I found great encouragement and discouragement from many of my peers. Did I think your unicycling was interesting or ridiculous? I would say interesting, actually. I feel like I'm used to random Dean things like this, like purchasing a unicycle. I'm surprised you actually learned how to ride it. But like, if you ride that around campus, people are going to be very interested. I'm a lot more scared of you now, a lot more frightened. I realize now that you're a loose cannon. You can do anything at any moment. I think it's it's like a very strange, like form of transportation, so I thought it was definitely very weird, but it is definitely cool. You don't see anyone on the unicycle, so. Not many people, like, on campus unicycle, so I was like, he's gonna look foolish for a second, and then you actually kind of got good, but I still think you're gonna break your neck. Oh, um, when... You decided to unicycle to catch mom and dad went on a walk and you thought it would be a smart idea to unicycle to catch up with them when they go on five mile walks every time they go on a walk and you magically thought the person who can't unicycle up a small hill thought he could unicycle up five miles worth of hills in our neighborhood. Connect the dots, make it make sense. Um. Well, I thought it was weird that you were riding it indoors and then I tried to get on the unicycle so I clearly thought it was interesting and I could not ride it because my leg too short. You said, talking about like it was fun and interesting, it was definitely fun though overall because it ended up getting us all out of our rooms and then we all hung out in the hall and then like even after the unicycle was gone we still hung out in the hall together which was fun. We had like that whole corner group, and then Big Red showed up. <laughs> it was so unexpected. 
actually heightened my perceptions of you. So everything I knew Dean was, uh, you know, um, a fun-loving kind of, um, you know, adventurous guy. But now, now I really knew it. You know, all my doubts were evaporated then. Even with the intimidation and support alike, I still kept pushing through on learning how to ride. It was pretty difficult, but deep down, I knew the effort would get a little easier each day, as long as I put my mind to it every so often. My biggest goal was to learn how to adequately unicycle, and I knew if I didn't need walls, then all my hard work would pay off. Throughout my mind, I remembered that the key to riding was not to think about the riding in the first place. When I learned how to ride a bike, my father lulled me into believing that he was helping me, when it turned out I was doing it all by myself. With this feeling, I leaned forward into my chair, for the first time without a care in the world. After letting go, I found myself pushing through, finally able to ride my unicycle without assistance and with satisfaction, or at least with a little more than I began with. My peers soon saw my relaxation while riding and began to support me even more on my goal. You're kind of known as the unicycle kid now. If you're riding around on a unicycle and you're the only person in the entire fucking town of Macon that owns a unicycle, it might be kind of obvious that you're going to get be known for riding a unicycle. <laughs> I think he's the only guy ever well, like, to ride a unicycle. Literally. Okay, like, I feel like all the memories of you riding your unicycle were like the same. <laughs> the only difference is that you got better. That is true. You did get, you did finally figure it out. Watching you uh, ride the unicycle uh, inspired me, honestly, to probably go learn how to ride a unicycle. <laughs> Cause you know, it looked like you're having fun on the unicycle all the time. So you know, I could say that it inspired me to wanna wanna learn and take new steps and try new things outside of my comfort zone and like develop new new abilities like riding the unicycle. I've always thought unicycles were cooler, but bicycles are safer because there's two wheels. I can flex on your achievement. I think my favorite memory has to be, I saw you use it inside once and you were like falling all over the place, but you had a lot of enthusiasm about it. Actually, I did once try to ride his unicycle. However, I, um, uh, you know, it, it's harder than it looks and it, it takes a lot of skill. So I'm really impressed that Dean can do that consistently. And well, um, yeah, uh, it didn't really inspire me to try anything new, but then again, neither does like anything else. Yeah, I do something, it's a fun, I look at it, and I'm like, huh, that might be fun. Like, that was a spike ball for me. Hey, 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 you, he did get us to try the unicycle. That was new. Yeah, but it, that it wasn't was like the second I sat on the unicycle, I'm like, huh, I'm gonna go buy a unicycle now. Yeah, but you tried it because you thought it was fun. I tried it because it was there. And, and I was like, it looked might fun. As well. did, did. Today, I've been riding even during quarantine, and now I've created a new goal to get on without using assistance. With my peers and family support, I felt unstoppable. With enough ambition and drive, we can put our minds to accomplishing just about anything, no matter how ridiculous it is.